So I had a major epiphany and I'm going to share it with you guys because, oh my God. <laughs> so, um, has everybody noticed that all the new movies that are coming out in Hollywood are all AI? Like I just watched, uh, Mad Max Furiosa, all completely done in AI. I sat through that going, what is happening? <laughs> Why is the entire movie not a single real actor? It was all fake. You could tell the way they moved was like glitchy. It was just like, it was so bizarre. So, hence the filter, by the way. This is, there's the theme for this. So, I'm just, <laughs> I was sitting there thinking and I got this incredible download and I was like, okay, remember when we had that really big shift where like all the celebrities died that had already died like a few times? Like poor Richard Simmons has died three times. Like this was the third time. Patrick Swayze, twice now. Um, I forget the other one who died. It was another one. Uh, and I was just thinking like, ooh, that was a major shift, like a really big one. And we're repeating loops. So if the reason why this is happening is because we are going back and kind of repeating something or we're crossing timelines in some way or we're continually shifting timelines because we are, we're continually going to our highest timeline. That's for sure a thing. But what if we went to the timeline where all the Hollywood actors that were with the Illuminati and what have you are gone now because the NAA has been squashed. It's gone from this timeline because that would be our highest timeline. We don't have to worry about any of that anymore. Um, then what if that's why we're seeing all these characters fade? from existence they're not real anymore they're just they're fake either it's ai or we don't actually see them in person anymore and they say that hollywood is on strike and yada yada but we don't actually see these people anymore what if it's because we already shifted and there isn't any more hollywood to make movies anymore so instead they're using computer generated interface like CGI or something or AI I'm not entirely sure what it is but it's definitely fake whatever it is and still making movies to kind of keep this collective psyche in order so that everybody doesn't freak out um while slowly like getting us used to this new reality because if we're in the fourth dimension and everything's malleable and we're creating all of this and time is no longer linear, then of course it stands to reason that we've created this buffer so that our psyche does not collapse. Because if, it, if we suddenly were to be in a completely different reality, so far removed from what we're used to, the collective psyche would just collapse. It would not be able to deal with all this information. So instead, we've created little buffers, little things, slight variations. It's like when you see glitches in the matrix whenever you're out doing your daily business and somebody glitches and you're like, oh, that's weird. It's not enough to really screw with you, but it's enough to make you go, hmm. And that's kind of what I'm doing with the movies. Next time you guys go see a movie, a new movie, I want you to tell me, like really pay attention. Do the characters move weird? Does it seem off? Watch the trailer for Mad Max Furiosa. Every one of those people are not real that was all cgi or ai the same can be said um i just watched a new trailer called san andreas 2 i don't know if you guys remember that movie with the rock from like 2015 they're coming out with a new one it's all fake it, none of those people are real so tell me what your thoughts are and let me know what you think yeah. 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 Yeah.